we are going to discuss the craft and its types. Guys, craft is a tissue that is moved from one side of the body to another without bringing its blood supply with it. Instead, new blood supply grows in after it is placed. Whenever uh, blood supply is not taken in with the graft or the uh, tissue, it is uh, called as graft. But whenever we take a blood supply with it, then we call it as a flap, not a graft. Here, the blood supply is not taken with it. And once it is placed at a secondary at a second side at another side, it develops a blood supply of its own. Then there are types of grafts. The graft may be autograft, which is self to self. It has a best survival rate. For example, skin graft, heart bypass surgery. When heart bypass surgery, uh, the artery is taken from one part of the body and it is uh, placed in the heart. So a skin graft from one area of the body to another that is done through autografting or self to self graft which has the best survival rate. Then isograft which is between identical twins when the two uh, uh, persons are there which are identically twins then the grafting between them taken that is uh, from one individual to the other is iso called as isograft. Then the allograft is between genetically different individuals of the same family. For example, fetus is an allograft but it is not rejected by mother because the trophoblastic tissue may prevent T cells from entering fetus. So when the individuals of the same family have grafting taken from one member to another, that is allograft. Xenograft is between two different species like between humans and animals. Like it is said that the pig heart that can be transplanted in humans, so it is a xenograft. Factors which are important for grafting or the factors that enhance the graft viability are the ABO blood group compatibility, which is most important requirement, that the two individuals that are having the grafting, they should have uh, ABO, they should be ABO compatible. If there would be ABO incompatibility, the graft would be more chances would be there for the rejection of the graft. So for the increased viability, we need to have the ABO blood group compatibility. The ABO blood group system, we will discuss it in our another lecture. Absence of preformed uh, HLA antibodies. HLA uh, antibodies are actually the proteins present in patient's blood, which could interfere with the organ transplant if the donor is not absolutely perfect match. So HLA matching is important and there should be absence of preformed HLA antibodies. Then the close matching of HLA A, B, D loci between recipients and donors. So these are the points which are important for the viability of graft. See you next time. Thank you for watching.